Hello and welcome. You join us on Thursday, 26th of May, just gone 6 o'clock, so we're going to log in and see if any new content has dropped today. Obviously, yesterday we had um, a bumper content day due to the fact that there were pretty much they left off the day before. So we had a whole load of uh, Silver Stars, uh, we had Showdown, we had new Team of the Week, um, new objectives and new um, upgrades as well. Um, so yeah, we can see what's new today, see if anything has been added in. Um, nearly finished the Sarabia, got one match left to go there. Silver Stars have got to finish, well start, let's be honest. But there's nothing here. Now, today would have been the day I would have expected an event um, if they were going to do anything for the Champions League final, Real Madrid versus Liverpool. Uh, obviously, we had the Fabinho versus Rodrigo showdown added in yesterday. Um, but, yeah, nothing new I did there, which is not a surprise, which, unfortunately, is the situation, really. It, we should expect more, but they don't deliver. On most instances, it's sporadic. So, today, what do we have? Uh, Rodrigo and Fabinho, as I said, were here yesterday. Both of them, 92 rated, with the potential of going up to a 94. Um, 94 Ronaldo, 87 Sandro Tonoli. I can't at the moment. Some great, she's been there for a while. This is new for today. Marquee matchups. David Klassen and Christopher and Kunku are still there, and that's all for today. So we've got marquee matchups. Which clubs is that going to be? We've got AZ Alkmaar versus Vitesse in the area divisi. We've got Hudson versus Nottingham Forest, which is the Champions uh, Champions League final. The Championship Playoff Final uh, that's going on this weekend. LA Galaxy versus Austin FC, so an MLS theme to that. Uh, and then St Etienne versus Auxerre, which I don't know the significance of that, but it's going to be an 81 rated squad for that selection. So it's the normal rewards and then a jumbo premium gold players pack overall, which is 20, 24 players, 7 gold. Uh, 24 gold players, 7 rares. I've got to put my teeth in and say the right words. Uh, so that looks like everything there today. Obviously we'll have no upgrades. Nothing new in swaps. Um, nothing new in leagues, I would imagine. Oh, we do. Spanish League, League Santander, Turkish League, Belgian League and Chinese League are all there. So that's good. Something to play for. Um, something to... Sorry, grind for to get your cards in that you won't be using. I'm sure I probably built up a selection of Turkish players in Turkish league players in my club now. So we'll have a look at that in a second. Right, we'll go to the store, then we'll go out and go back in again, see if there's anything additional. So obviously tomorrow is the new team, which I guess they'll go on to Serie A. Or is it Ligue 1? I'm not sure whether they'll go French or Italian next. We've got no preview packs here at all, which is a bit of a disappointment. Just normal coin packs. Which is a bit of a shame, but there you go. So, we'll just go out and go back in just to see if there's anything late edition that I went into early for. So there we go. League, La Liga team and season players are now available in packs for 23 hours and 54 minutes. So, 6 o'clock tomorrow, they will disappear. And we will be left with the new league that kicks in. Oh, so we... Okay, so I'm using the right trigger stick to go across. And there is a Lamar centre midfield card. Nothing else new there. Special team and season SPC now available for a limited time. Okay, we'll take a look at that. I'm not sure how I missed it. But... That should be there, apparently. So, yeah, nothing in Objectives and Milestones. We missed the Lamar, apparently. Um, he's not in marquee matchups. Let's get that out of favourites. Is he in here, team of the season? He's not. Bit weird. Where is he, then? Nothing else going on there. Is he in live? No. 
So, Lamar is apparently there, but they seem to have misplaced him. So, we'll go into one of these and then just have a look at the Lamar card. He's a 92 rated central midfielder. So, let's go and have a quick peek. So, French midfielder, special league, Spanish. Actually, we can be specific with this, can't we? Team of the season, moments. Oh, and concept players. That's always an important one. So there we go. That's a Lamar card. Four star, four star. High, medium work rate. I think this is the first time I've seen him where he isn't a winger. He's always been a left wing. <sighs> now, I mean, there are lots of 90s there. The dribbling is pretty good. The defending is pretty solid. Better than I would have expected for him. The physicals are pretty good, considering how basically how lightweight he is his body type is not designed to bump defenders off put it that way but i mean that's a decent card i mean it's not going to change is it going to change your team i'm not sure he's got quite a low range he's got a lot of numbers between 90 and 95 and i mean yeah it's like solid but not outstanding if you see what i mean there's no the highest is his stamina isn't it stamina and curve at 95 Maybe I'm setting the bar too high, but normally when you get cards 90, 91, 92 kind of rating, you get numbers like the 98s and 99s kind of thing. I'm sure there are better cards. But if it's an objective, rather, well, if it's an SPC, we'll see how reasonably priced it is. But let's have a look. Um, we had the Isco one recently. I mean, he's one rating higher. I mean, it's a kind of a similar card, just without their defensive stats. He's got numbers a little higher in some key places, but all in all, it's a fairly similar card. The Carrasco one is good, but he's out wide. Canales is a decent card to have. I mean, it's still quite similar to that one. It's going to be quite similar. I'm not fully convinced. I mean, this Parejo card is pretty useful. Still now, it's the team and season objective one we had early doors. So there's options. He's got a decent card. Plus, you could always put it up as a... Oh, I don't really need any more strikers. Now, I mean, I'm quite glad they switched him in from being a centre midfielder to be... Sorry, from being a left midfielder to a centre midfielder. Because otherwise, we would have had a fatty objective, a Dan Juma SPC. Um, and I was lucky enough to pull the Vinicius card earlier on. As well as the Carrasco from the Guaranteed Community Team of the Season pack or whatever it was. So, no SPCs today bar the marquee matchups. The Lamar card, which is a mystery, again, I think they've done what well, technically we should call it doing an Iago Aspas. Basically, it's there, but it's not there. Um, but other than that, that looks like it. No silver beasts. I was kind of expecting. We've just got the silver... Wait, where's the silver stars? There for the Fabio Vera. Other than that, that looks like the end of it. Anyway, uh, I'll end the video there. Uh, we are pretty much done for Thursday. Tomorrow is Friday. Friday is always a good day. We'll see the new team. We'll get some new options. We'll get some new um, objectives within the game. We'll lose the upgrades, but we will get some new players which is always a good thing and then the cycle of guaranteed and the upgrades will come through once that is settled into the into the packs but there we go thanks for watching appreciate that there'll be another video this time tomorrow hopefully we'll get some good content to look through thanks for watching cheers appreciate that goodbye